Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Today's lab is going to be lesson four. It is about text and scale. Um, most of the things that we draw, we will draw full size. If it's 200 yards long, we'll draw it 200 yards long. If it's 50 feet, we'll draw it 50 feet. The thing we lie about is text. To draw text, we have to find out what scale you intend to print the drawing at. So if you plan to print the drawing at 50 scale, everything on the drawing that is fudged has to be blown up 50 times. Okay, so what I mean by that is, if you take a look at this spreadsheet we have, uh, to draw text, an eighth of an inch tall, or 0 0.125, we multiply by our scale. So at 50 scale, it would be six and a quarter. So if we draw six and a quarter feet tall, it will print an eighth inch when you print at 50 scale. Uh, the example of that would be the yard lines on a football field. How tall do you draw the text for the yard lines on a football field so that when you're up in the stands, you can actually read the text. Um, so this is how you calculate that. Okay. Um, Civil is pretty easy because we actually work in, in decimal feet. I like to call that like civil metric. It, it's feet, but we use decimal values. We never touch inches. Uh, an inch is 0.0833. We just, that's the, way it, that's the way it works. Architects have it a lot more difficult. If you're working on a quarter inch equals a foot architectural drawing, their scale factor is actually 48 because a quarter inch equals a foot. If we reduce that equation, one inch equals four feet which is one inch equals 48 inches. So they have a factor of 48 in there. Uh, so they need to draw their text six inches tall to be able to print quarter inch equals a foot accurately. You run into conflicts when you merge drawings between civil people and architectural people. The architectural people drawing in inches, the civil people drawing in feet, there's always that factor of 12 problem. It my, since my drawing is in feet, if I try to insert an architectural drawing inside my drawing, it'll come in 12 times too big. So when it asks me for the scale factor, I put in 0.0833. That shrinks their drawing by a 12th. Then it's in decimal feet. Uh, vice versa. If I'm taking an arc, um, a civil drawing and trying to insert it around a house, I'll do a factor of 12 to make it convert the units. Okay. Um, other units you can use really are anything, anything you decide to use. I'm just doing the, the normal units, which are feet for what our class is going to do. Okay, so now I know if I'm doing 50 scale, I want my text to be six and a quarter inches tall. A handy thing you can do instead of remembering that and using that height every time is I can set my drawing up to automatically use that. So if I type in ST for style, I get the text style set up. The standard one, I often will well, often change the font because TXT is an ugly font, but I usually leave standard alone and I create my own. So I'll create a new one and I'm gonna call it 50 standard. So when I make a 50 standard, I get to choose which font to use. Now, there's a simple one that's really fast. I'm gonna scroll to the R's, there's a Roman S Roman S, and I can say B 6.25 and apply that. 
now, whenever I do dtext, um, if you haven't learned text yet, there's three primary ones. dtext, dt, is text, single entity text. I'm going to pick where it goes, put the, the angle zero, and I'm going to say this is 50 scale. I really should put that on the text layer. Escape. I also got a weight on that text because, uh, let me back up, LA for layers. I set a 35, a 0.35 millimeter line weight for my text layer so the text looks good automatically. Okay, I may make another layer for titles. Layer. Um, I'm going to highlight text so it copies most of my settings and I'm going to call it title. Title text. Title text, maybe I want to make it magenta or something, something different. I can make it anything I want. I could leave the same thickness or make a heavier text. Let me go 0.5 for title text. Okay, so now if I want to do another piece of text, let's go to the title text. Let's go to our ST for style. From the 50, 50 standard, I'm going to make a new one and call it 50 title. 50 title, I'm going to use the same font, but I'm going to put 12.5. So now I have two different styles of text, two different layers of text. DT for dtext. Where does it go? The angle. This is title text. Enter. And it gets a thickness from the layer that I specified, but the height and font come from the style I defined. So your style sets up your text and your height is generated using a chart from the scale you intend to print. The scale you print really is not important the entire time you are drawing your drawing. It only becomes important when you want to size text and oftentimes symbols. Um, dimensions also have text, the scale is important, and line types. So those are the different areas that it, it can be important. Okay, so line types. If I were to draw a center line, let's go to my center line layer, and I'm going to draw a line across the screen, and I'm going to turn on ortho so I can go straight. The pattern doesn't repeat very well. It's, it's very tight. If I type in LT scale for line type scale 50, it's a center line. And it actually repeats 50 times bigger. I don't have to set my LT scale to the same exact number as my scale. If I want it a little smaller, LT scale... 25, I can have it a little smaller, but your scale factor is your best starting point. Also, dimensions. Uh, if I type set var, and I'm going to type in question mark dim star, it's showing me pages of dimension variables, and many of these have sizes. Really, I just want to change one variable. I'm going to go up to my dimensioning toolbar. Pull that down where we can see it. Um, the dimensioning toolbar has a um, style editor uh, that we dim style that we can go to, to to change things graphically, or if I just type in dim scale 
I could set it manually. This one I'm going to do the graphical editor. So what I'm going to say is I want a new style. I'll leave the standard one alone. I'm going to call this one 50 scale. And I'm going to say for 50 scale, the text I want to use is my 50 standard text. And then the fit is where I say this is 50 scale. And my primary units, I'm going to drop it down to two decimal places. Four is a little bit excessive. If you're doing angles for survey, some people will switch it to degrees, minutes, seconds. If you do that, you need to pop it up to have more accuracy. If you're working with decimal degrees, none or one is pretty standard. Okay, by making this new style, I can now put in a dimension. And I really shouldn't have put it on the center line layer. It should be on the dimension layer. So let me set myself on the dimension layer. It's current. Okay. So now when I create dimensions, they're working. The text is the right height. Um, the arrowheads are the right height. Gaps are the right distance. Everything is adjusted because I set the scale, the dim scale. Let me go into it again. Modify. The dim scale was on the fit tab. Overall scale. Let me cancel that, close out. If I type in dim scale, you will see it's 50. Okay. Now, in the dimension styles, if I'm working with more than one scale, I can create a new one. I'm going to call it 100 scale. And in the 100 scale one, I'm going to set my fit to 100. Now I can choose which scale I'm working on when I draw a dimension. And the scale that I select will affect Oh, I should have used 100 scale text. My bad. But it affected the arrow sizes and offset distances. Let's go into style and set up a new one. And we'll call it 100 standard. And it's going to be um, 12.5. Close, edit the 100 standard style to use the text 100 standard. Okay, close. Okay, so now they both work correctly. Okay, that is scales, that is text, and dimensions. We talked about the LT scale. One other thing with text is I only showed you D text or dynamic text, which gives you single line text. There's also an M text, which lets you do a paragraph. This is a test of the emergency typing service. And the text is left as a paragraph you can change the width of the paragraph but it stays a paragraph that's m text there's another one called r text r text is awesome for title blocks it'll let you put the drawing name on the drawing automatically it's a reference text uh, if you had text notes that are standard on every sheet of a project you could have a text file and it will reference that and put those notes on the screen. Um, you can also have a date time stamp on your drawings so that whenever they're printed, you know the date time when it was printed. All right, I think that's it for text and scales.
Have a good one. Bye.